and welcome back to my channel. Happy Falties Friday to you once again. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. So today I am using um, the new Sephora Favorites Bronze bronze bears all that's terrible so I want to give you my thoughts on this and I give you my thoughts on this at the end of the video um, and so today I, I created this look using products from this kit and then a couple of additional extra products so I'll mention those to you today of course because it's falsies Friday I am using the oh my lash mink lashes in Cali they're missing from the box because they're on my face how gorgeous are these lashes guys they are like well bam I love it so, I used that to create this like bronzy look today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please be sure to check it out if you're interested in me seeing this look. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the video now. Bye guys. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes. I've done my foundation um, with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation powder foundation. Um, I've already done my eyebrows and I just primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Shadow Insurance in Eden that will not die. So now I'm going to go in with this kit. So this is the all bronze up kit. Um, as I am filming this, this is still available on Sephora's website and in Sephora stores, specifically Sephora stores. Um, not like Sephora, JCPenney Sephora's, like actual stores. So here's what the kit looks like. Now obviously it's missing a few things that I would need for my face, so I'm going to have to go in with some other stuff. But there's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with my eyes like I normally do. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eyes like I normally do, and I'm first going to go in um, with the Urban Decay shadows. Now I'm only using these today. Um, well, I'm using these and I'm using one additional um, products. So I'm going to go in first with the Kat Von D Shade and Like Eye Palette and I'm just going to get myself a mid-tone brown color and a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe MB23 and I'm just going to take this brown color right here and I'm just going to give myself a transition shade. I'll lightly buff that in. Now you can use any brown that you want to and you also don't have to use a transition shade. Um, I just generally like to, but you could completely just go in with with those. But now that I put my transition shade in, I'm gonna go in with this darkest shade, which is twice baked, which is this side and that same NB23. And I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm going to go in with a little bit denser flat brush. And this is the Morphe MB13 and I'm going to go back in that same shadow and just buff it into the crease a little more. Now I'm going to go in with the um, half baked which is this right side. I'm going in with a flat brush, this is just for BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to pat that on the lid. This has always been one of my favorite lid shades. This is in the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I believe. Um, I don't know about half, twice baked. That must be in the original Naked, because I don't own that one. I'm also going to take that into the inner corner. Okay. So, there are the um, semi-completed eyes. If you want to, you can go back in with that flat brush and a little bit of um, twice baked and just kind of put that on the outer V to give your eyes just the slightest bit more dimension. Okay, okay. So, now I'm going to go in with my concealer really quickly so we can finish up the eyes. And today I'm using the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer by Maybelline. And I don't feel like I can get a lot of product out of this thing.
And if you want to, you can also go in with a highlighting shade for your brow bone. I'm going back into my um, to my Kat Von D shade in my eye again. You can use whatever brow bone highlight you would like. Um, I just prefer a matte brow bone highlight. And if you wanted to just use this kit for it, you could go in with the highlighter that's in the kit, and you could use that as a brow bone highlight. So if you want to get creative, you can. Okay, so next I'm gonna go back in here. Two face products in here. Well, yeah, there's two face products in here. There's the sculpting. There's the Tarte, this Tarte Sculptor, and this is in shade one. And then there's also this um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now I already own a Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's just like that. So I'm just gonna use this one instead. There's no sense in opening a brand new one when I have this one. So I'm actually gonna combine them to do my bronzing. So I'm first gonna go in with this, um, this Tarte Sculptor. And I'm gonna take it on my cheekbones. Holes in my cheekbones. Under here. And up here. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. And you can see a little more of my face. So I'm must be like sketching out today. So because I totally forgot to buy all there. But anyway, so we'll we'll finish with the bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I'm gonna go back over those same areas that I just bronzed up with the sculptor. I'm gonna go back over that with the bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish up the face before I go back in with the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with a blush. Now, you don't have to go in with a blush if you don't want to. You can bronze your face up and leave it at that and then add the highlighter and be good to go. Um, but I don't like my face without blush. I feel like I look too pale. So I'm gonna go in with the Milani blush in Luminoso. This is their baked blush. I'm sure you guys are familiar. It's a cold favorite of a lot of people. So I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna use my Sephora Pro Angle Brush. This is number 49. I'm um, gonna go in with it. And just put that on the cheekbones. I'm using a peachy tone color because I feel like you're kind of, that's the effect you're kind of trying to achieve is this like bronzed up look. So peach is gonna look the best with that. And now I'm going to go back in with the Becca Opal Pressed Highlighter that comes in the palette. And I'm going to go back in with that. Put that on my cheekbones. In the moments between day and night That's when you have the hardest so time Bronze and fabulous, right? When you could go left, okay. you could go right. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose since I didn't really contour my nose. You can contour your nose with this little sculptor. Also, you will do that. You've got a vision of a different kind. You never start without a plan. Never go without a reason. Always count. Next, I'm going in with the Sephora waterproof pencil, and this is in Cocoa. So it's just a brown eyeliner pencil. And I'm gonna line my upper um, lower water lines and my upper lash line. So, now the eyes are almost done with the exception of the mascara and falsies and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm going to go in, I'm going to apply those, um, and then, so today I'm using the lashes from Oh My Lash. These are their mink lashes in Cali. Take them out of the... So here's what they look like. I have not used these yet. Um, they are so pretty. So I'm going to go apply these. I'm going to go apply mascara first. And I'm going to use the Rimmel Kate Mascara and the Lash Discovery on my lashes. And I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Glue. It, and I'll be right back. So 
Okay, so now technically the eyes are completed, but as I'm looking at this, I'm feeling like I want a little pop of color. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Rimmel Kate Eyeshadow Stick in pure turquoise, and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. So it's just a very subtle pop of color, um, but I like the way that it looks. So now, for the very last step, we're going to go in with lips, and there are two lip products in this kit. So there is the Bite Beauty Pencil and Materia, I guess, I don't know. And in here is the NARS Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Super Vixen. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to use both of these products. I'm going to use the high pigment pencil all over my lips and then I'm just going to go over with the gloss. Okie dokie guys, so here's your completed look using the kit plus a couple of additional extra things. So what do you guys think? Um, I like it, I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely like a bronze du sun kiss glue, um, which is really nice. So let me just talk to you about kind of my impressions of the kit overall. Um, so the kit retails for $39, okay? So, and I want to make sure that I go over clearly what's in it because I jumped around a lot. So it comes with the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this is a, it's supposed to be for medium deep skin, but I am fair and I use this. I just um, blend it out really well. The NARS um, Lip Gloss in Vixen, um, in Super Vixen, which is like a pinky rose gold color. Then you get the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in... Opal, you get the Sephora brand um, eye pencil, the, um, the Tarte, uh, the Sculptor in Park Avenue Princess. Hold on guys, my battery is dying. Care about that guys, if the angle changed, I had to change my battery. Um, okay, so then you get the Formula X nail polish. I have not used that yet, but I like Formula X nail polishes. Um, this is the Urban Decay Shadows um, in um, Half Baked and Twice Baked. And then you get the Bite Beauty um, High Pigment Pencil in Madaria, I guess that's how you say it. So overall, I really like this kit a lot. And if you find it and you liked that like bronzy look, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's definitely worth the value. You get, you get a lot of really nice products in the kit. Um, so especially if you want to try some products from some different brands, but you don't want to buy the full size, this is a nice way to do that. So overall, I think it's definitely worth the price. Um, the favorite things for me in this kit are the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, the Becca Highlighter, and the Sephora Pencil is really, really awesome. And I think the NARS Lip Gloss is full size. Um, the Urban Decay Shadow is full size, and the Sephora Lip Pencils, uh, lip pencil for eye pencils full size all the rest are um, you know like travel sample sizes or whatever but like I said overall I think it's a great value so if you see it you should definitely pick it up so I hope that was helpful for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today let me know your thoughts in the comment box below I would love to see you guys recreate this look so make sure you use the hashtag Alexandria's Makeup Musings, hashtag Falsies Friday. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's completely free. I do looks for Falsies Friday every Friday where we use false lashes, but of course you can recreate this look without the falsies. So let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye now.